final subtopic for chapter 11. I forgot that we have another subtopic. This is an introduction to particle physics punya subtopic lah. <clears throat> so, in this subtopic, you should be able to state the th thermionic emission, explain the acceleration of particle by electric and magnetic field, state the role of electric and magnetic field in particle accelerators, state the need of high energies required to investigate the structure of a nucleon, indicate the standard quark lepton model particles, and lastly, explain the corresponding, corresponding antiparticle for every particle. <clears throat> So this is basically just theory lah. If you don't feel like reading it, I mean you can just go through it, skim through it saja lah, okay? So thermionic emission is defined as the emission of electrons into the vacuum from a heated conductor. So this is the hot filament, so they will be an emission of electrons lah, okay? So thermionic emission is widely used in particle accelerators and particle detectors. And the rate of this emission can be increased by increasing the temperature of the cathode, which is the filament, or by replacing the filament with a low ionization punya metal. <clears throat> and then, particle accelerator. Pula. Particle accelerator is a machine that increases the kinetic energy of a charged particle, such as electron protons. Electron protons. And most of these are used for research in nuclear and particle physics. Lah. So there are eight categories of particle accelerators. These are some of the eight. Uh, so uh, I'm not going to go through this. Basically, this is the explanation for each of the categories of particle accelerator. Nila. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is a very long explanation if I were to... Uh, talk about it now lah okay so this one is elementary particles well it can be classified in terms of whether the strong force act on them or not so there are two classes of elementary particle which is hadrons and leptons hadrons is particles on which the strong force act whereas leptons is the other way around lah. We weak force yang act on it so lepton is any class of elementary particle that consists of electron mon tau particle and three types of neutrino so Leptons is from a Greek word meaning it is small or light. Lah. It appears to be truly point like fundamental particles with no structure, so there's no structure. And this is some of the characteristics of lepton particles. Hadrons pula, uh, it is complex, complex particles which have only si have size and substructure. It can be classified by their masses, which is Masson's variance. So, Masson's uh, whose masses are less than the proton mass. The mass lies between the mass of an electron and the mass of a proton. This is the characteristics and variance is hadrons that have masses equal or greater than the proton mass. In Greek, it means heavy lah, baryons. Ni. These are the characteristics and unlike leptons, they are not fundamental particles but it all consists of only small constituent particles known as quark except for the proton and neutron. Okay, they are stable lah. So quarks nebula, it is a fundamental constituent for all hadrons. So all hadrons are composed of two or three fundamental constituents called quarks. These are the characteristic. Okay, this one pula is associated with each quark is an anti-quark of opposite charge. Lah. So the composition of this are represented by Gelman ataupun Zwick's Wiggs model. So Mason's are quark anti-quark pairs, Barons pula it consists of three quarks. This again is the composition of Mason's. This one is the Variance and then this is antiparticle. So for every particle, there is always an antiparticle. So antiparticle is a subatomic particle that has the same mass as the particle but opposite charge and spin lah. Okay, so this figure here shows that several particles and antiparticles. Okay, so that is the end of our chapter eleven. Okay.